Introducing the awesome and amazing first ever Amazon Fire Phone. What's up everyone, welcome back to our episode of Rettinger's Riffs. I'm your host John Rettinger and this week it is all about the Fire Phone. Jeff Bezos just left the stage and I wanted to talk about it. We'll go to the specs, my opinions on it, whether I think it's going to be successful or not successful, and everything that has to do with Amazon's first foray into mobile phones. This is Rettinger's Riffs, let's start rifting. Before I get to my opinions on the Fire Phone, I'm gonna really try hard to not call it the Kindle Phone. Let me run through the specs in case you missed it and don't know what this thing is rocking. So it's got a quad core 2.2 gigahertz Snapdragon 800 chip, uh, Adreno 330, two gigs of RAM, 4.7 inch display, which is 720, so that's 1280 by 720. Uh, available in either 32 or 64 gig configuration. It's got a 30 megapixel rear camera and one of the five cameras on front that you use to take your selfies is 2.1 megapixels. I'll explain those other four cameras are four in a minute. We're keeping this guy juiced up with a 2400 milliamp hour battery, good for 22 hours. For standby time, we're gonna get 285 hours and 11 hours of video playback, which is crazy. If I listen to music though, you'll get 65 hours. Uh, you get free cloud storage for all Amazon content and photos taken with the Fire Phone, so you never have to gotta worry about filling up your device with uh, pictures you take. Uh, and it's running Fire OS 3.5, which has a lot of cool things to it. Great for Amazon content, obviously. Uh, X-ray for music, video, books, second screen, free backup and restore, Amazon's really awesome, Whisper Sync, newly launched Amazon Music, Amazon is in video, Kindle Books, uh, and audiobooks from Audible, great for audiophiles, they claim Dolby Digital Plus, and Tangle free headphones. The cool thing about this device though is this the second you use it, you've got a ton of content already available. You don't have to go into you know, iTunes and sort of buy what's there. You already have access to it. If you have Amazon Prime, you immediately have access to just tons and tons of movies. One of the killer features, one of the things I love about the Fire HDX is Mayday. If you don't know what Mayday is, it lets you just sort of launch your application on your phone and some person will show up right on your screen. They can't see you though. They can control your device. They can teach you how to use it. You don't know how to edit pictures. You ask Mayday and they will show you. Uh, they say you'll get somebody up on the screen in less than 15 seconds and someone will be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, no matter what time it is. You just hit it and they show up. I gave my dad a Kindle Fire HDX mostly for Mayday, and he loves any questions that he has, he just goes ahead and asks them. That's a killer feature on a phone. Imagine having a question on your phone and wanting how to use a new feature, how to use a new app. You can just ask your phone, and tech support shows up. Not only can they just walk you through it like they could over a normal phone, they can actually control your device and teach you how to do things and leave trails and draw arrows. They know how to work it, it's really cool. Uh, but that is probably not the biggest feature of the phone. The biggest one is dynamic perspective, which is and a 3D-ish. So the phone has four cameras, uh, one in each corner, so depending on how you're holding it, if you're holding it in portrait or landscape or laying in bed. Essentially it's gonna create sort of a 3D-esque effect. Uh, so you can tilt the pan, you could tilt it left to navigate menu, tilt it to the right to access sort of useful information and shortcuts, like attaching photos to a text message, viewing song lyrics, uh, and a ton more. Now uh, you can swivel for access to important notifications uh, and quick actions like Mayday, flashlight settings, and much more. And they made a big deal uh, that it's sort of really cool for one-handed use. You can sort of scroll with your phone by just tilting it down and tilting it up. You know, regardless of the fact that that feature's been around in other phones for a while, um, any phone you have, you can pretty much scroll with one finger anyway, so I don't really have necessarily helps that much with uh, one-handed use, but they say it's great for one-handed. So another cool feature of this sort of crazy camera setup, uh, you can peek, which actually keeps your display uncluttered by revealing additional details and quick actions only when you need it, which is kind of neat too. Stop for just one quick second to thank our friends and good peeps at GoDaddy. They want to let you know that it's go time and they're here to help you kick butt online. Start your website today with $2.95cent.com. Visit GoDaddy.com and enter promo code TECHNO 95 get your .com for $2.95. Good time to start your blog. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. Uh, Firefly, which is sort of now sort of appetized. If you have the Amazon app on your iPhone, uh, you know what this looks like. The little thing is sort of glitter on the screen. You can hold it up to anything uh, and it'll search it for you. If you hold it up to you know, a box of crackers, it'll find that box of crackers on Amazon and let you buy it. Uh, you can now do it for music. If you hold it up to an advertisement, it'll pull up the phone number. Uh, it's kind of cool what it does. It's just another way for you to buy Amazon stuff. But to show you the point to this sort of fire uh, phone Trojan horse gets you into the Amazon ecosystem. All this awesomeness though is not going to come cheap. It is an AT&T exclusive, at least for right now. That's gonna cost you 649 bucks for a 32 gig off contract, 199 for 32 on contract, you add 100 bucks. 
if you want to get that 64 gigabyte version. But for a limited time, you will get the full year of Amazon Prime. So it does a lot of stuff. Uh, so opinions on the device, it seems neat. I want to sort of see it and hold it. I've tried 3D phones before. Everybody remembers the ones from HTC and LG. They were a headache and confusing. Uh, this one though looks like you did a totally different approach. You're using your eyes and your head to determine uh, where things are going to go. It's not sort of how you're looking at it like stereoscopic uh, 3D was. The practical applications they're saying, other than sort of way you can move it, uh, as you're doing maps, you can see building targets are coming up at you. You sort of peek behind a building if you're on maps and it's blocking your screen. Uh, it's probably a little bit gimmicky. I'm wondering if you can sort of turn it off. Uh, that sort of has yet to be seen. Uh, Amazon does things right and they're very patient and they have the war chest sort of stick things out so that the audience and sort of their folks that love Amazon can get a chance to know their products. The original Kindle didn't set the world on fire but they stuck with it and certainly now the Kindle line uh, is pretty awesome and amazing and it's crazy market, wait for it, penetration. Um, so what's going to be successful, it's not really the cheap phone people thought it might be. It's certainly an expensive phone, you know, the same price, or as close to the same price depending on where you buy as an S5, HTC One, uh, or even an iPhone 5S. You get a little more storage out and realize that pricing the 32 gig model were the same as you know, 16s are for their competitors. So you get more storage, um, but you know, how people are going to enjoy it is going to depend on the experience. That 3D effect is not going to be for everyone, uh, but certainly it could be helpful. I think Mayday could really be a killer feature for folks that maybe want to try a new phone based on Android, then how to use it. You don't have to worry about it. Don't get that anxiety of getting a new phone if you're not sort of a tech file or tech head like we are. You get a new device, there's a lot of nerves that come along with it. I don't know how to use this. How am I going to do things? I'm going to check my email. Mayday sort of negates all of that. Also, for me, that's really the killer feature of the phone. I'm excited to check it out. These devices will be shipping in early July, so a little bit uh, of a wait. They're available to pre-order now uh, on Amazon. I'll put a link down below in case you want to check that out. So anyway, what do you guys think of the Amazon Fire Phone? Are you excited? Not excited? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, leave it in the comments. Located in this particular region. Uh, we can have a conversation about it. I really do want to hear what you guys have to say. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, until next time, I'm John Renton from Techno Buffalo. Check us out at technobuffalo.com. Play some great tech news. I'll see you guys next time.